years. It wouldn't later. be normal for me not to ask. So mm -hmm. you have the power job. With COVID happen, how did you deal with the kids home and schooling and all of that? Like, yeah. That was fascinating. So at that point, uh, Sergio was eight in the third grade. Mm -hmm. And Claire was still feeling like brand new. I mean, Claire was maybe a year and a half-ish. Yeah. And, you know, I was just blinking really hard trying to crack the code of, okay, we're all in the house and we're in the house board. Okay, So we're all in the house. Right. And, uh, just like everybody else, right? It was like, which end is up? What is this virtual learning? Like, uh, I think how that's do we... when you kicked off a few things though. Yeah. So I was like, Hey, why don't I launch a YouTube channel? Why this not? Is, this is my girl. I, I was on Facebook, but you were like, I'm taking it a step further. We didn't even know each other then, but I was seeing you. Well, it was so funny because I, I noticed that the admin in our brokerage office was temporarily laid off. And I know how yeah. talented she is. And, and I just lured her to me. I said, why don't we do something me? fun together? I'm like, what do you want to do? What do you have the interest and energy for? That's what I ask myself all the time too. What do I have the interest and energy for? Mm -hmm. And I said, I have the interest and energy to do a YouTube channel. And it's all about overachievers who are notoriously known for being kind humans because how we treat people defines us. Oh, I see where this is going. This is how we got Ben Kenny on there. This is how we got Ben Kenny on there. <laughs> March 30th of 2020. It was like 57 of us on this Zoom that we're yes. trying to figure out how to work Zoom. And we all looked like we had been punched in our real estate faces all day. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. it was like... Oh, That's all we did. Right? Yeah. It was all we did. And I'm so grateful to Ben for pouring in to us in that room. I asked him God. for a 12-minute interview. Ben is, you know, high net worth um, guy who's so giving and, and notoriously known for being kind. I mean, this is someone who well, yeah, you gets financially. And I knew, I, I right? knew, I knew that that's who we were talking about. Um, yeah. So I asked him for 12 minutes. He gave me like 52 minutes. It was just so good. It was so good. What did you do after you had had like Ben Kenny there? Like I texted him like, thank you. I said, <laughs> I said, Ben, you know what I said though? I remember, I know I'm so cheesy. Cheese is delicious though. Exactly, it okay. is. So all kinds of cheese is delicious. But yeah, I mean, Ben, um, I remember, it's funny you asked me that. I remember texting him saying, wow, thanks. I realized that was not the 12 minute ask and you were on for so long and thank you so much. I realized for someone like you, those minutes mean a lot. And he said, don't do that. <laughs> it was like a little awkward. He texted me, don't do that. I'm maybe a little further along in my journey than you, but we are the same. And I wanted to faint because I was like, did you feel that? I was like, oh, yeah. Like, like one of the multiple companies you own is probably 200K in net profit a week, but okay. We're the same. We're the same. Like, that's okay. It. Thanks, yes. Ben. <laughs> This is, this is a humble guy, though, who grew yeah. up in an outhouse with no electricity, right? God bless him. Exactly. So, yeah. So. Oh, my gosh. So then do you keep on? Now I see. So, yeah. So we truck through, right? We figure out some things, and yeah. I, I get to. Online. Uh, online. She's on, online. Online. Leading courses as a global trainer. I love training. I love yes, all of that. Yes, let's talk about that, because it's not only Inman. Like, where did you start getting mm. your feet wet on the training and so oh, I mean, again, speaking, yeah, talking and things, you know what? I really enjoyed Toastmasters. I'm going to give Toastmasters a big nice. high five for sure. Toastmasters International. It's a volunteer organization. It's, I don't know, maybe like a hundred bucks a year or so. They give you two books. They give you feedback sandwiches on the crux of it is Toastmasters helps you crack the code of public speaking, uh, oh. the mastery of it. Okay. Right? And we know that mastery bears gifts. And I think one of the gift of, uh, that I received from Toastmasters was just striving to master and perfect the art of public speaking and how speaking can impact others to hopefully take action. So what drove you to that? Like, when did you have that spark that I want to speak? Mm. I'm going to say freshman year of Seton Hall. Oh, wow. Freshman year of Seton Hall. Yep. And, uh, I had a, like a, I had a, uh, my first public speaking class and I was like, this is a thing. 
but notice, right? I always told myself something amazing is going to happen in college and it didn't have to be college. Like sometimes something amazing happens okay. in your first gig or your second gig or whatever that is. But it, for me, it happened to be, um, undergrad college. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is, I got in front of the room and I just felt like adrenaline happy feeling. Yes. And then poor thing, like my other, you know, classmates would get up in front of the room and like, I don't know. They were like faint. dying. Yeah. And they were like, like, it's all about me, people. Let's go. And it was, <laughs> so that was the thing. I was like, what can I say up here that can affect like someone out someone there else. so that they know like this is not going to kill you, mm. you know? So that started your journey. Yeah, I guess it did. So then Crazy. you found yourself talking to a lot of agents and yeah. Helping. So I started leading. It started small. I started leading courses in the office, and then that spun into leading it outside the office. And then you know, in these times post twenty twenty, it was leading it on Zoom. And it's weird because there is a different style of leading and teaching digitally versus in person. Exactly. And we were it thrown is. into the fire to learn that. But everyone was, so everyone yeah. was just learning, yeah. you know, at yeah. their own time. Right? It was such a camaraderie in that too, yes. I feel, with a lot of people. You, you miss that now? No, because I'm still on Zoom life. Ooh, so not to brag, okay. it's never bragging. But I, I do, I lead a lot of things digitally. Um, tell us, tell us a few. Yeah, so I mean, so I still have the little, you know, you YouTube, still have channel, the YouTube channel, trucking along, Follow Overachiever Central. Channel. Listen, I'm, I'm like this over here okay. trying to pull you in. <laughs> I need to get your genius on there for sure. We're going to definitely do something together. Oh, for sure. We're going to call it the, the BX this is not, interview. This is not easy to do on YouTube, you know, I have to say. Like, I just started, like, last year I started the podcast, you know, mm -hmm. on Anchor, and I thought I was like, yay, I got it. And then this year was like, oh no, you have to do video. And I'm like, oh boy, this is another level. And listen, I'm spoiled because I got to do it. This is like physically in person. Like yes. I can touch you. You smell exactly. delicious, by the way. Ooh, mm. well, thank you. So, <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, doing it digitally, I feel like is a little bit of a buffer. This is like very real yes. and, you know, very tangible. Uh, so yeah, but it is different and it's super fun. And uh, what else do I do? You know, I get to Come on, you build have a companies. Lot of rules. Yeah, yes. I have. Those listen, companies? I'm, I'm co-founder of Chispa, which is a coalition yes. for Hispanics and Latinos in mm -hmm. real estate. Spark, it also means spark in Espanol. And uh, that is just a very giving platform that have, has brought me a lot of fulfillment. Uh, you know, just in pouring into people who look yeah. like us. And, you know, there is a community, mm -hmm. you know, in that for sure. That is needed. Yep. In our, in our culture and heritage and all of that. And... I'm a moderator and a, and a contributor speaker for the National Black Realtor Network, too, which is really nice. meaningful for me as well. And amazing. I mean, there's like 6,100 subscribers as of, I don't know, the beginning of 2023, right? So this is going to live forever. So thank yes, goodness for... you do a lot. And at, at one point, you were traveling all the time. I was like, Dana, where are you going? Washington. What? Oh my Why? gosh, that was so much fun. There are so many caring leaders. So, I mean, just shout out to the Minkitty group in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. There's mm. just an amazing group of caring leaders who really transform lives, careers, and legacies through real estate. And what really are you do. doing there? Um, I was a leadership consultant. So wow. here's the amazing thing. I feel like whether, whatever you believe in, right? Like whatever, whether it's the universe, God, I happen to believe in God, I'm a Christian woman. The reality is... God will put strangers or people you don't know yet right in, in your own way, you. right in front of you, to right get, in front of you, right in front of you. And they'll do this like Dana does. Okay. <laughs> they will put people in front of you to get you where your purpose to be. Mm -hmm. And I kept leading these digital courses through the real estate company. And I kept seeing this brilliant. I'm like, Oh, I've been fangirling over this woman for years. And finally, I know the term fangirling, fangirling, <laughs> yes, fangirling. It is real. And they, you know, there's a saying, I heard it during Inman last week, which was well, this past week. It feels like a decade. Yeah. I keep hearing, don't meet your heroes, you know, cause sometimes they disappoint, but this one yes. did not. And she is lovely. And her name is Kimber. And she just really Shout poured into to me. Kimber. Yep. And, and, put me, I, I'm pretty sure she made up the role. I kid you not leadership consultant. Wow. And it, it, I really got to connect with a lot of amazing people in, in real estate as well. Yep. And she, she is absolutely so awesome. Amazing moderator. She's also Riz media, different platforms. Yes. I mean, 
highly, highly decorated and highly, very humble as well. And I think that's part of the magic, right? As you excel, how do you, you know, just calm, I would say calm down to a normal panic and know that there's always somewhere to grow. There's always she something. She takes time to lift mm -hmm. people around her. Yep. I see you do the same. I strive to do the same. I am connected with everyone that does that because that's what I'm about. You know, yeah. it's like lifting each other. Sure. Yeah. And there's opportunity everywhere. Sometimes we there don't is. see it. Mm. Sometimes it's right there and we need someone yeah. to go, Hey, yeah. It's like a tap. It's like yeah. a tap on the shoulder to say, excuse exactly. me, the, what do you, what do you think of this exactly. opportunity? And that's what I think is the most fun is to, I enjoy tapping the quiet one. Like the quiet person that's kind of in the corner subdued. I'm like, hey, hey. Oh, was that too yeah. loud? Sorry. No, sorry. that's okay. fun. <laughs> that's like, how she really does it. She's not the lightly touched. No. It works I mean, heavy hands it over here, <laughs> you know. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, inviting someone. Look, let's face it. There have been, when you talk about home ownership and real estate, there is not one thing on this planet that drives more wealth to people than real estate period end totally. of story yes show me a widget that is better in Home terms of appreciation by the way either if it's by investment for yourself it doesn't matter it's still it's still real estate it's no still. one is mad that they bought that property 22 years ago mm -hmm. not anyone and so when you think of that you have to look at the ratio of like you know underserved people and then how what what do they own equity wise. And so the reality is sometimes you need to be tapped to our earlier point to bring someone into that space because sometimes they feel like it's not for them if they don't see enough people who resemble them yes. who own equity and, and real estate. And that's why we have to, right? Right. That's, that's why, why representation matters. Representation right. yeah. matters. Just before you came, I was just telling Cesar, you know, like I need to try to get in touch with the credit dude, right? For anyone that, you know, I don't know if you know him, Jose Rodriguez. Okay. Because right. we were having a conversation of the people that are nowhere, at, at least they feel that they're nowhere near. Sure. And this is credit but, repair. Yes. Got but it. The first he calls thing, himself the credit dude. That's pretty the funny. The credit dude. Yeah. Pretty funny. So yeah. the first thing that people think of is like, uh, you know, I'm a loser. I have, I have no credit or, you know, my credit is bad. And I need to show them hmm. that there is a way. Yeah. That well, because you feel like you have no way. Right. I've been been there, done that uh, again, not yes. to brag again. However, I was the kid because I didn't, that's also a trigger, right? Is I didn't have anyone really schooling me on wealth creation right. and things. Yes. So I didn't realize like, Hey Dana, don't give that man your social and name and date of birth just because he's offering you a really big bag of M&Ms and some towels on campus wow. because that MBNA credit card is going to show up in the mail and it's 28% at the time. This yes. is going back to the late nineties for reference. The 1990s was yes. a long time ago. Okay. And <laughs> so, yeah, the reality was I was like, Oh, like towels and candy word up yeah, exactly. free money. Okay. Sure. So I grappled in and out of, the whole bad credit thing. Yes, and yeah, when you're in it, is, it that stinks. Is it's like, yeah, guess what? You actually can't rent a car if your credit's bad. How about that? I know. How about that? People are traveling, renting an apartment. You can't do anything. Right, exactly. Yeah. So Probably. how do we, you know, like. So yeah, we have to bring that. So that education needs to be there. At yeah. least because I feel like if you start there, at least then it's like, oh, it makes you that feel good. You know, how you feel sure. the yeah. first time you're like out of the six. 650 oh and you just start climbing right oh my gosh the you're second, like yes yeah and then you see a 780 and you're, you're like, like that's it i did it <laughs> like the world is your oyster right and then you also have to manage it because just because you have a high credit score or high fico score doesn't it doesn't mean to completely lose your mind either i think the better yes. flex if you will is having a company like for example my mm -hmm. llc has yes, been established since 2013 you. and it's a borrower and mm -hmm. so nothing touches me personally i don't personally guarantee anything yes. god forbid i mean the cleaning girl falls down the stairs in my house you think i want to get sued we guess what pollyanna you ain't, <laughs> you ain't it's called umbrella policy <laughs> and my you know company is the borrower so i think that that's powerful is how do we 
protect ourselves. It's actually something I'm enamored with in this season is asset protection. Yes. How do we protect ourselves so that we have companies that are actually, you know, holding like a holding company and it's holding different arms that are impacting our wealth, exactly. like, you know, our property collection and then dividends and different arms. You're to... like a wealth of information. Like we need to do something for her. Do you want to laugh also me? Like, <laughs> I just have to laugh because Again, none of this was really in the cards. It, it, it wasn't. And I, I feel like I'm just getting started. Early 40s getting started. Ooh. I really do. I mean, I have, I've always had a dream since I'm 19. Give since I started making all the money. Go oh ahead. My gosh. Started making all her money. You walk into the now G7. It used to be a G6, but now there's a G7 mm -hmm. private jet aircraft. When you walk in, you look down and you wipe your heels and it says billion air on the map. Oh, Go on the mat. Oh, excuse me. And someone offers someone you something. Someone better to create drink. this for this woman. Oh my gosh, I wanted to. I can see it because you know what it is. Flying publicly is not a great experience. They, right, TSA. They pat you down like a criminal. I'm kind of being <laughs> facetious. I'm being funny, but the reality is, right? It's like they've taken a lot of the fun yeah. out of flying public. Right. So my dream is. For all of us. Dana wants her own jet. Fly private. And it's the clear port, Jay-Z, right? It's the clear port. It's, I they don't you. pat you down like a criminal. You bring your bag. <laughs> you, they give you snacks. I don't know they what's going to happen. They give you a sandwich. With a carbohydrates. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen with Claire. I know Sergio, but I don't know what's going to happen with Claire if mom, you know, just brings her on this jet. You know what's funny? <laughs> We're watching Channel 4 at no, you know, six nothing in the morning, and there's this commercial, this really swanky property. It's like a vacation property, somewhere. yeah. And I mean, it's soaring ceilings and porcelainosa and Every, just everything. Yes. Dupont Registry, Rob Report, and it's so elevated. You know so, what? My four year old daughter looks and says, luxury. "Mommy, that's gonna be my house one day." See? See? Don't you know it? I said it already is. You just it have to is. claim it. There you oh, go. And then the commercial sets in. And thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me. Right? Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was like, I love that, right, that that's, that's the start of the bar is this amazing place. She's like, that's going to be my house. She's like, she has the perfect mommy for this. I said, invite me over. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so tell me, what's, what's in the future cards here? Because you have a mm. lot of stuff going on. There's so many fun things. You know, I think taking any kind of startup and placing them on the cover of Forbes is something I'm enamored with. And I'm mm -hmm. going to do that next. Ooh. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay closely tuned. Closely tuned. Like suction cup closely tuned. Damn. Okay. That's like. Is that a weird like sound effect? <laughs> that sounds good. That's, okay. Yeah. It's good. It's fun. <laughs> that sounds like. really good. I feel like we have to bring the fun back to work. Does we anyone do. else feel like that? Like we have to bring the yeah. fun back to work because i've had it like if i'm not laughing every day in my workspace no just it's a no like i'll just do something else like i'll start I mean, break dancing literally if i have exactly to. No. i i think look we went to this you know convention and we've done others it, it wasn't Listen, inman i we had so much fucking fun yes yeah. like, oh my gosh i was on the phone with a mega agent earlier he keeps coming up gerard and oh, mega agent hoboken shout out and he was like oh my gosh of course claudia was there she is the queen <laughs> Of the best networking <laughs> events, period. We and I'm met. like, yeah, iron sharpens iron. That's iron, how iron works. Iron yeah. sharpens iron. I love it. So yeah, true. Have, you know, someone thought I made that up. I was like, no. Oh, it's in a big you book. didn't take it. It's in the box. <laughs> you didn't take I didn't make it for that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited for you. I'm so excited for you. I'm excited for you, for you sis. And you. You're in your bag. That's what they say, like the cool kids. That's like, you're in the your cool bag. kids, right? Yeah. Yeah. Someone told me I look snatched the other day. I was like, by whom? I grew up in the 80s where they were, like, snatching kids off the street. Like, I was snatched? No, no, no. That's a good thing. It's good. Okay. Listen, yeah. I want to just bring up the, you know, you made such an impact on a few people mm. this week. Oh. You thanks. did. You Get really out. did. That's fun. I yeah. like, I like it. like, where's your friend? <laughs> I'm like, oh, which friend? Oh, the one with the red dress. Oh, okay, her. I'll get you connected. So yes, I'm I'm connecting you. There's a I'm, I'm like the connector now. Oh my gosh, you are. And I think that's that's really your superpower. Is you you think of one person and you automatically align like, them to who this person aligns. With, yeah, oh, it's so genius though. It's, it's, it is, it genius. is so genius. So I'm it. looking forward to our mastermind. Oh yes, a Click. few of our masterminds. So you can't put all that content into just one. 
I'm I'm excited because this series, I was just on the phone with my team on, literally on the way here and the series we're creating on Overachiever Central for me is so fulfilling because it's something that I could do for free forever and never lose energy around it. I love it. I it love it's it. just so it's just so needed, I feel. Like the the resources, the tools, the hacks, all the things that we do to make efficiency better for let's just say like some overworked people. Yes. Right? It, it's like there there is an easier lift. There is an easier way. There's there a simpler way. way. There is a smoother avenue. You know, it's just like, That's can it. we can we just enjoy Let's enjoy it. Oh. I have to. I can't let you go without asking you. What do you tell all those super moms out there? Mm, mm. Yeah, super mom. You know what's funny? I always say, "Mind you, check out her bracelet." Where? Oh, mm-hmm. Holla. Yes. Holla. Uh, I saw it. Must have been a meme or something in my social orbit that said, "A lot of the us working moms, right? When when your work." is required to fund the household. Allow me to define, okay? So yes. we're not working for Prada heels, okay? Right. We're working to create, hey, you know, paid bills. <laughs> Let's just start there. And then mm-hmm. savings and then abundance and hopefully generational wealth and all the things. The reality is when we are required to earn, we're often expected to parent yes. as women as if, you know, we don't work. Right. But then we're expected to work. <laughs> There's a lot of expectations. As if, on as if we don't mm-hmm. care. So it's like cheers to unreasonable expectations. So I feel like we need to just, we, listen, uh, you know, I might not always cook the food. I I definitely don't, you know, do certain household things, but I'm, I'm going to be damn sure that I'm showing up as the best mother in the house and then the best business person, you know, outside of the house per right. se. Um, I'm just going to say it's two things. Like if I could give two tiny pieces of, you know, thoughts yes. to work in moms is check your people, like check the people that you allow to have access to you. Yes. Powerful. I will not permit if you think of a quadrant real fast. <laughs> think, thanks yes. for coming to my Ted talk. Think yes. of a quadrant and in one space, there's a plus sign. Right. So those people add value to your world. Mm-hmm. Keep them. Then there's a minus sign. And some of the people you can't delete because they might be in your family. But <laughs> other people who are not in your family who minus or withdraw energy yes. or joy from you, we you just can take. fire. You can fire them. Yes. It's okay. As a grown adult, you can fire them. Then there's some people who X, who multiply. That's you. You're on my board of directors. Okay. So board of directors. there's some people who multiply you and, oh my gosh, I mean, hold them so tight that you never let go. Yeah. And then division, right? Division creates chaos. Division, that, that goes along with the minus, you know? So the yeah. division, the minus, delete, and then people who plus you and multiply your, your joy and, and make you feel secure you, and empowered, yes. keep those friends. And then the second thing is just environment. You know, you're a product of your environment. Choose wisely in the workspace, your product of your environment in your, you know, exercise lane. As you know, yes. I dropped 60 something pounds last year. I feel so much better. Oh my God. Dana. I have to tell see us. delete. Tell I del- us. I deleted tell us 60. Tell a little bit about that journey because it was so funny. For, first of all, before she gets all emotional, homegirl was walking around Inman and no one recognized her. <laughs> <laughs> Fat. And then she comes up and she, yeah, she wants to do her hair nice and straight. And I was like, oh my God, we have a problem. I should have gone curly. No one is going to recognize you. So tell us the, how you felt, because I know I've gone through my own journey and I know. And you look so. phenomenal. Listen, oh my God. listen, it's, uh, you know, I was having, um, an acid reflux you know, situation, like don't get old like me, but I was having acid reflux and I had to, so I did, um, a bariatric revision, right? Because it was, I I lost 80 pounds and I got pregnant and COVID, COVID COVID-19 was the COVID-19 pound adage for me. Okay. You know, and, uh, so, so I, I gained back half and, you know, there's a certain level, you know, we say in real estate, you only have one place to live, but in life you have one place to live. It's called your body. Right. And so, um, I did that revision, uh, you know, in October and I've been dropping about 14 pounds every month since it's now in January. And You're a different person. About, right? yeah, 50 something pounds later, I feel way better. My acid is gone. And, you know, that was at a women's empowerment event that someone tapped me and said, what's going on with you? 
Wow. I don't feel like you feel healthy. And I was like, I actually don't. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'm chubby and me. I don't want to buy bigger clothes. So what you got? And she's like, well, you're using straws and that's not good for you. And that brings air to your belly and it, it expands it. And then you need more volume of food to it, accommodate the expanded belly and all the thing. And I was like, wow, this is an amazing tent. I remember. And, and so I, I took action. I think that's the thing is you we let our action. sides, yes. you know, we let ourselves slip because it's never a good time to focus on me. It's the working mom syndrome. It's never a good time. It's never a good time. Yes. When is a good time? It's either, it's, it's either like, oh, I'm going to do that one day, Claudia, or day one. It's exactly. day one now. Yeah. Do it now. You have to just do it now. And you know what? There's something for everyone. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But you just have to take action. Yeah. Because I feel a lot of us just stay there like, okay, I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. Right. We do a lot of research and we don't take action. Yeah. Well, my thing was I couldn't complain about what I was tolerating. Mm. I just couldn't. Yeah. Because I was like, okay, like chubby, chubby, chubby. Okay, well, you got to get healthy because, you know, these kids. And you feel? I feel so much better. I mean, I feel good. I definitely feel better. And that energy, I think, comes out. I think so, too. Yeah, in different ways, too, for yeah. sure. And now people are going to recognize her. <laughs> yeah, well, hope, right? I mean, the, the idea is that I'm burning all the boats. Like, I'm on this island of healthy island, and I'm you know, giving away a lot of fly clothes that are, I'll never fit in. She's going to purchase new ones. Yeah. That's a champagne challenge. That's it. When are we going out together? That's how I'm going to end this. When are we going out you, together shopping? I'm, I go right. I will clear my calendar for the rest of the day. I'm clearing it right now. <laughs> thank you for being here. Listen, thank you for what a brilliant platform and congratulations to you. This is really powerful and meaningful. And, and thank you for including me. Thank you, queen. Aww. I'm honored that you came. My throne? Yes. I'm here. Hey!